I am Narciso Fernandez. I am the president of one group of timber timber companies in Spain. We have uh, sawmills in the north of Spain yeah. and also a cupris. We stay in the in the cupris today to do uh, Spanish oak sherry cask. So, you, so you're in charge of giving us most of the flavour for Highland Park. Uh, That's yes. quite an important job. I think I think it's uh, very important because the quality of the oak, the Spanish oak, and the sherry wine in the in the uh, Highland Park whiskey is very important. C can you explain to me simply um, how do we start making a cask? I mean, let, let's start with the tree. Uh, do we cut it down? It's a long job. It's a long it's a history. Yeah. Uh, the process due approximately 72 months, six yeah. years or more. The history start in the north, yeah. where we have the forest, the oaks, in the north of Spain, in the forest, in the Cantabric coast, and we cut the Kerkus robur, yeah. the, the oak, the Spanish oak. We cut and put in the sawmills made the staves, made the staves, and then the staves coming to, to Jerez. And the, do you use all the tree, or, because it must be quite difficult no, to do, no? No, no, for the, for the cacks, the sherry cacks, we need the high quality of oak. We use, we use only the, the, the best quality. The, mid, the middle bit, yeah. The, yeah. the middle, the, fro, the bottom, the bottom, yeah. and two or three pieces. I only use the best part of the tree. For example, if if we have this tree, yeah. okay, I only use one, two part maximum, okay. maximum. The rest of the tree is not possible to use in cooperation. No because we're looking only for the high the, quality. The best part of the, the tree. The best part of the tree. And, and what happens to the rest of the tree, is that? The rest of the tree we use in other, in other for, uh, furnitures, MDF, yeah. MDF yeah. Uh, for chibua, furniture, furniture sleepers of the railway, oh, right, and, okay. and other. <laughs> <laughs> Matches, yeah. Yes. <laughs> but the more important is to look in the quality. Yeah. The size of the trunks that you yes. cut, how, how tall is each trunk? The, the, the Kerkus Robur is not very high tree. Right. I only, only use maximum three meters. Three meters. But, but the normally is used one, two maximum portion, two, 280 approximately. And, and how many casks would you make from one tree? It depends. It depends the the quality. It depends the the size, the, of, the tree. The size oh, of the tree. Right. The years. We think we use only trees 17 years old minimum right. age. Oh. Age. The average is 100, 120. Sure. But we need for for to to make the staves in the north. We need the logs minimum 60 centimeters diameter. Oh, so it's about the width, yes. not, not a, about the a big, yeah. size. Absolutely. a big size. And the, um, when, you, when you cut the log, do, to make a stave, do you use every single bit of the log itself or do you only use parts of it? No, no, I only, only use part of only the, part. O, o, only use part. Only use maximum 30, 35% of the tree, yeah. maximum. And the rest of that goes into the fire, the fire, to, the fire. to toast the inside yes. of the barrel, so we don't waste anything. Yeah, yes. Ah, oh, see, yeah, it's yeah, yeah, very, yeah, very yes. Cool. It's, a, it's my second. It's a very expensive, very expensive uh, timber. And the, the, I suppose the whole part is that we're happy to spend the money to do it because we know that it makes the best casks, which then makes the best whiskey. Yes. Well, that's, that's fine. No. No. <laughs> no, because my customer is a Scottish customer. <laughs> very we, hard don't, we don't pay for it. <laughs> very hard business. Okay. That's very true. Alps, where is he? Exactly. <laughs> um, the, so once once we've cut the the logs and we've made the the, the staves in the north of of Spain. In the north of Spain. What happens then? It's it's easy. Uh, we we look here. We like. At the the stays with 12 
grades of humidity. Yeah. No more. Okay. This is a big process. The process starts in the north mm -hmm. and reduce the humidity between 50% to 30% in the north in six months approximately. Okay. Yeah. Okay. When the state have approximately 30 degrees of humidity, yeah. we buy trucks to Jerez. Drive them, right? Okay. Okay. In Jerez start the other, the second process to drive. Different weather, sunny, well, sunny, warmer, time, warm, warmer, and immediately reduce, reduce between 30, 35 to 12. Wow. To 12 percent. In this process, we lost between 15, 18 months more. It's a long process. A long time, yeah. Because the speciality for Highland Bar is a um, natural, natural uh, uh, dry, dry yeah. natural dry. Never use another another system, total natural, with the sun. Okay, and they have it down to 12% humidity, it's, it's, it's ready to be worked, you can, you can yes. move the wood yes, and, yes, the wood yes. and it won't bend and twist. And yes, yes, when the, the states have 20% of humidity, the experts say it's okay to continue working and to do the cuts. And do you, do you make uh, American oak sherry casks here as well? Yes, yes, but our specialty is the Spanish oak. I only, 70% of our production is Spanish oak, 30% American oak. Because the uh, Spanish oak for, uh, for Highland Park is probably the most important cask for us because it gives us mm. the colour and the flavour and the 12-year-old yeah. and the 18-year-old, which is, you know, the best spirit in the world. And none of this other stuff. And then the 25-year-old, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's fantastic it's, whiskey. It, it's up to, it's you guys that mm. help. Uh, with help us make the whiskey, which is uh, you know, thank you. Very we much. we we uh, remember every time the Kirk, the 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 oak we use the Spanish oak is Kirkus Robur. Yeah. The Kirkus Robur have different characters. Yeah. The American oak is Kirkus Alba. In the Kirkus Alba, uh, the tanning is more light. Yeah. More taste vanilla. Yeah. Or but the fresh fruit, fresh yeah, fruits, yeah, yeah. yes, and the uh, Spanish oak, is more tanning, yeah. more color, yeah. more spicy, yeah. more uh, like dry fruits. Yeah, yeah. dates, yes. figs, it's, and dark fruits. Yeah. It's different, yeah. but it's the character of the very nice malt whiskey like Highland Park. So once we have your our staves or, or the planks, yeah. um, aged or dried for two years, three years, depending on the, yeah. depending on the, the weather. Uh, what, what happens then? Oh, <laughs> Is it continue the work, continue the cooperish work. Yeah, so it starts, the hard work starts. Where, where, where the stave is totally dry, with 12 yeah. degrees of humidity, yeah. we start a selection one per one the staves. Right. Okay. The good quality, we made the, 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 stave, the size of the stave. So you get a stave, stave yeah. yes. And then immediately, go to the fire, yeah. in the fire with temperature and water, yeah. natural fire, no possible to use uh, petrol no or gas, gas yeah. nothing. So we've uh, cut the trees down, we've made staves and planks out of them, yeah. and we've shaped them into, you know, they're, they're straight. The straight. But, but how do you bend them into the shape of a cask? Yes, this is the more, more difficult work in the cooperage. Yeah. Uh, we work with Spanish oak, big size of cast, 500 liters, yeah. and, and the thickness is 40 millimeters. Wow. For that, for that, we need time very quiet with fire and water. Yeah. The process is only fire and water and very quiet. When the timber, the oak, yeah. take the temperature, start to Bend. Close, yeah, to bend, very, very slow. This is a, a process for expert cookers. And, and how long does it spend on the fire in total? In the total, uh, roughly, to, 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 to warm yeah. the oak first, 30 minutes. 30 minutes. And to blend the stays, yeah. 7 minutes, 7 and a half. Jeez. Continue with humidity and temperature. Humidity, water, yeah. and, and fire. Until water we, and fire. Until we can close it. Very slow, very slow blend. 
the stems. And then, and then once you have that wonderful shape, yes. then it's about putting the ends on it because yes. you have a, a hole. Yes, yes, yes. So, so how, how does that work? Do we do we have to open up again? And never. One step I blend. Yeah. Never, never in his life it's possible uh, right. All right, to go back straight again. Yeah. Never. Uh, the, 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 the oak, when you, with Agesper, Agesper, yep. Vlen, all his life continue with the same size. So it, it, stay, it, stay, yes. it stays just yes. that nice shape? Never, yeah. never. And then it's you... a, some, uh, it's a, the similar, similar when building the bolts. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. Yes, it's very a similar. Absolutely. So you're, yeah. you're Creating that shape, yeah. so you can roll the casks. The Otherwise, same. if they're flat, mm -hmm. yeah, they're, yeah. Not, they're not going <laughs> anywhere. <laughs> um, and then it's about putting the ends on, and then yes. eventually, eventually you get something like this, yes. which is almost ready to go. Yeah. And then it's about making it look nice. Now you have to sand that back. Yes, and make yes. It all nice and then the process is, we put the ends totally in the Spanish oak. Yeah. And the the the, the cax is a very hermetic, hermetic. Yeah. Uh, we don't need any laws, the the whiskey yeah. or or wine, Absolutely. and it's very hermetic. Yeah. Very hermetic, and and the process is very. Uh, is, is but long time. It takes a lot, long, a lot of craftsmanship. Long, long, yes, and Absolutely. very difficult, very difficult. But the final, the final is a very nice and high quality product. So the, let's have a think, the time it takes to make one cask from the moment you cut the tree down to drying it, to making it on the fire, to building it and then shipping it to Scotland or Orkney for the Highland, yeah. Highland distillery, how long would that take, roughly? It's, uh, approximately, it's a big process. Yeah. The, pro the work started in the north, in the forest. Approximately in the north, between I cut the tree, made the stave, tried the stave, two years. Yeah. Then in Spain, to dry, to final dry the stave, yeah. and another year more. I built in the cags, yeah. built in the cags, and put in the in the cellars of Jerez with Oloroso dry, yeah. because the cags, our cags is sherry, yeah. Spanish yeah. oak with sherry. After two years more with wine, the, the gas coming to the to yep. the Cooperage, yep. we repair, testing and send to Scotland. The total process approximately six years. Sure. Big well, time, Lord time. Most um, uh, people who are new to whiskey believe that casks just appear. Yeah. <laughs> you just buy them off of a shelf and you go, no, no, no. The way that we do it is with you in partnership with you. Mm. So you understand that we look after the tree and working it right the way through so we mm. guarantee the quality quality yes. casks every single time. But I, I think I think we, we need to do a difference. The casks we use for Highland Park and for the Grove Bedrington use a very high quality of casks. Yes. There are another quality of casks today in the market. Yeah. But the top of the, of, the, of the quality is the sherry cags. Yeah. And the process is more expensive, more long, but I think the result you see in the whiskey. That's it, absolutely. Your fantastic Highland Park. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.